right now. Hello, my friends. Hello. <laughs> Always got to fix this thing. Oops. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. Actually, it isn't too bad. Here he comes. The walking wounded. <laughs> better. Oh, do you have that anymore? The DHPF fan in a month or whatever, the six ah, months? We haven't done that in a long time. We got so busy with due. other things. It's unbelievable. I think you're due for that. I know. We will. We'll get back into it. Put hey, Donna. Hey, Lacey. Hold on, Rock. I got to do a few things here real quick. Boop. Copy. It didn't work before. I don't know why. I like this ad. Easy with my glasses. I like this hat. Which one? Yeah? <laughs> Pretty cool, I think. Boom! Super Bowl Sunday. I'm sitting there talking with Stella, and he's like, why don't they hold the Super Bowl on Saturdays? And I know Super Bowl Sunday has like that... That kind of that feel, you know, it's like Super Bowl Sunday. But he's right. Why don't they hold it on That's a good Saturdays? Question. Maybe because of college basketball. I don't know. Saturday would be a great day for the Super Bowl. There's water for you. I'm not like, you know me, I'm still bummed. About what? I, I like, I, I don't know. Hey, Since Jane. The Packers lost. It's Jane and Lacey today. I'm like, I don't, I don't like, I'm not like a all fired up about the Super Bowl type year. Really? No. That's awesome. I know most people I love, are. I love, even if the Packers, I, of course. Now I know myself, it takes me about a week to get over it. I get over it after 72 hours after the loss. So, I'm, you know, going back and forth in my head, like, well, everything that went wrong in that game that could have went the other way. Then I go through another three, four days. It takes me about a solid week. And I get over it. Then you're over it. I'm over it. Then, now that it's Super Bowl Sunday, I'm excited for it. And I, I like how the Packer fans have gone into, you know, listening to you and Rick talk all the time and stuff like that about players that are going to be available. Now now we got to see our team play two playoff games. You know, who's going to be, what do we need? What do you need, right? It's, it's like, I never really did that before. But this year it seems to be like I'm doing it more because the team is so young. I'm fired up for our team, man. And I mean we're we're gonna watch the Chiefs play that who I have winning the game. And San Francisco, who oh, well, we beat the Chiefs. Of course you you saw Jordan Love. He's cheering for the Chiefs. He is? Yeah. He said it. Why? He hates they asked him, said, like me. Yes, and, and said, he's from that area. He's from California. Bakersfield, yeah. But he said that, you know, he, because he, he couldn't cheer for San Fran. because Not me either. He doesn't like San Fran either. Who does? There's more to it, I think. Because right away he came out with the Chiefs. When, when what's-his-name asked him. You know why I cheer for Kansas City. Well, I, both teams, what is there to cheer about? <laughs> Today, I w there, I don't I don't I I went out and fought. You are a football fan, so I'm surprised. Unless oh, you're just on. saying that, hold on, hold that on. You're not more into this game, even though the Packers. I went out and got a bunch of squares. Oh, you went on the bars? Fundraisers, and... fundraisers, not for bars, for like youth football, youth baseball. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Youth basketball. I know a lot of guys that coach youth sports. <laughs> guys I work with, and I went and bought a bunch of squares. So that's what I'm cheering for today, my number. <laughs> I don't really care who wins this football. This is the first time I think I ever watch a football team. Where Game. 
football game, two teams where I wish they both could lose. I'm tired of KC, right? I mean, let's face it. I love Mahomes. I love I love KC. I love Reed. I'd probably cheer for Kansas City if push comes to shove. Now, I've been to Kansas City Chiefs Stadium twice. Have you ever been there? I drove past it several times, but never in <laughs> it, no. Driving past the stadium is a lot different than going in and watching the Packers play there. You've been to Kansas City to watch Packers? Twice. No. Once when? When, I, once when I was in my early 20s and three years ago. I don't remember that. Well, hey, what it is what Joe it is. Biden? Here's my, here's my, Here's my whole point. I like their fans. Kansas City fans are actually a lot like Packer fans. And they were great in Lambeau this year, too. There is something to be said about Midwest over yes. California. Right. But we got a lot of Packer fans that live in California. I am not dissing on California. But, yeah, if I got to cheer for a team for that reason. I don't, you guys tell me some reasons why, as a Packer fan, who do you want to win? That's what I want to know. I'm, I see win that. or interested? Because a lot of people say they're disinterested. Win. You're not alone by that. What, what, what I'm saying is like, it, it, the, a pack. To me, everything's a Packer angle. <laughs> we got Rocky out of his out of his norm. We're not talking about the Packers I'm right like, now. So you're like, a, I would have cheered, cheered for I would have cheered for Detroit all the way because they're in the North Division. You get it? I wanted them so bad to beat San Francisco. You know, I thought a little bit about that, Rock. I was like, can I che- do it? If, if, if Detroit beats San Fran, am I'm I I'm all che- into the Super Bowl. See, I don't, this is, I don't know if I'm screwed up in the head or what. I don't like to see an NFC team win the Super Bowl. Hmm? I want to be the team from the NFC to win the Super Bowl. I probably, the only team I don't want to see win in the NFC is San Fran. Right. I, I, you know, they don't like Packers. They don't like Green Bay. I just am tired of Shanahan. I will now, say, I've been there to that stadium, too. I, I'm just saying, if, if Shanahan would retire, if the San Francisco 49ers would win today, then I'd be cheering for San Fran because Lafleur definitely has a problem with, with Shanahan. beating Shanahan. That's a good point, too. Two great coaches. I mean, Lafleur had the game plan on him, and the fourth quarter was all San Fran again. And I just don't understand how that happens how the, and how why that, that happens. happens. Let's say hi to a few people. Because we'd be there. Come on. We'd be there. We can continue be talking about I'm that. I want to you. talk to the fans a little bit. All right, go ahead. Because this is the type of night we can actually keep <clears throat> keep up. Hi, Jane. Me neither. I wonder what it was. So she probably listened to you say something about not liking the game or not caring. Yeah. caring. Present and sport my Packer sweatshirt. Kim Ginter. Hey, Kim. I'm doing good, Lacey. Thank you. How are you? Hey, guys. Janelle. Nice to see you. They have already started leaking the commercials. Oh, commercial. It's not the same. Jane Delizio. I did I not know that. I do watch for the commercials. Dad, what? I do watch for the Me commercials. Me too. Me too. Dave Kamali, what's up? Can the Packers afford Xavier McKinney, Frankie LeVu, either Barkley or Swift? I don't have any idea, Rock. Do you? No? Sorry, Dave. Not when you give Jordan Love 50 plus million dollars. Oh, you know what he's you know what he's talking about? Yeah, I mean think about it. Do you do you think they can? Where are they gonna get the money when they can't even sign Runyon back? And they're gonna struggle to sign Nixon back. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, no disrespect, but if you haven't noticed what how good has built this team, he's built it through the draft with some pretty cheap free agents, right? I mean, let's be realistic. Who has he brought in since 20, since really Preston Smith? And he doesn't bring in expensive free agents. We're going to now. How? I got a weird feeling. Jordan Love makes gonna make more money Uh-oh. than Aaron Rodgers Rock, ever made. Rock's starting to heat up. You were talking about the just, Packers. Here comes no, 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 no. This Come narrative on, that all of a sudden a... Jordan Love's gonna play Second for thirteen third. million dollars and we're gonna win a Super Bowl How because much? of it. Well, that's what he would have made. That's what his guarantee was. Next, you know what's interesting when you said that you, they they they, they, they just they already get a certain amount of money or have a base, but they actually get a raise. Rock, take it easy on a slam in the water. Holy shit. Uh, Man. Yeah, basically, Jordan Love is going to play for $22 million next year. But 
he's going to get a, like a $30 million, $28 million raise, raise. in June, right. and it's going to go up to $50 million. So where we're going to come up with all that extra money when we got guys of our own that we got assigned to keep it intact, you know, plus I think it's all, that's why he dumped Douglas. I think it's all about drafting and developing with Goot. Hi, Tina. How are you? David, after cuts and restructures. True. True. Reach, that's would be one. Who's going to restructure? Alexander? Clark? Bakhtiari? I mean, I'm just trying to be realistic about math and contracts. I, I would love to have those guys. I'm not against picking up free agents, but I just don't see it happening. I, I'm, I'm sorry. That's why I can't be involved in those kind of conversations. But I think we're going to see things that are different now because it's just like your own. Why? Gutek love What's is good against child. It's like his little. It's like his son. Hey, Jordan, no, way to go. What do you need? Okay, so you I'm got, just saying, just the, throwing oh, it I out there. I'm no, answering his question. You know, he wanted to get rid of Rodgers. He was ready to move on from Rodgers. Yeah, yeah Rodgers Whether was you cheap. want to go down that road or not, it's the truth. Rodgers was cheap. He played for 33 points. So he's uplifted now. You see him on the podium all happy, his chest out. He feels great. He dodged a bullet. All we right. talked about that. Right. If Jordan doesn't have the year he has, Rock, we're having a completely different discussion. I agree, but that doesn't mean we're going to sign a bunch of free agents to get us to the I Super Bowl. say we're going to find a, sign That's a bunch. That's what I'm still talking. Are we off of that then? So what I'm saying no, is but that I can see them signing he's one. He's saying what he was answering your question as to watch this game. We should be there. What do we got to do to get there next year? Here, here's these three, four guys that are going to be available by free agent that I agree 100% that would help us get there. But is it realistic or is it something we got to do through the draft? Exit left. Don't care who wins. Waiting right, for the You gotta start at deal. the top. <laughs> I missed that. No. Happy Super Bowl, Lorena. Hello, Barb. Exit Hi, left. Don't care who wins. Waiting for Clyde's. <laughs> that is good. Yolanda. Hello. Terry Dellenbach doesn't care. If the Packers cut Bach and Campbell and restructure the likes of Jones, Ja, and Smith. Interesting. Can they afford Xavier McKinney again? Yeah. Frankie, he's he's all over that. Well, first off, the Packers owe Bakhtiari fourteen million guaranteed next year, right? So Campbell's gonna re uh, what did he say? Cut Campbell? <clears throat> yeah. I gotta look at Campbell's contract. But Bakhtiari we owe him fourteen million. I think they're gonna keep Campbell. They're gonna keep Bakhtiari, I think. Wow. I think I think Bakhtiari's gonna take a pay cut. Take a pay cut, come out and light He's it up. Play for the like, play great too, and not get hurt. Well, not re-injure his knee. We owe him fourteen million guaranteed. So I why it would was sixteen? But it could be. But I I know for sure it's at least fourteen. So why would he leave? Why would the Packers trade him? They might as well play him, right? Because he's going to go off the dead cap. That's not going to go to your three or four free agents. There I you have it, David. <clears throat> I prefer the 49ers than Mahomes, Lorena Gonzalez. Always nice to see you, Lorena. And you really believe Alexander's going to restructure? I mean, he could. Got to get a you got to get a hater on the thread. <laughs> what? Robert. He says the Packers are great. See him at the top. Packers suck. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with both teams, Yolanda. You really think the Packers suck? No, you must he's not. Be a he's not a fan. Yeah, of course. I live here in Kansas. I don't want to hear the fans all year. Oh, okay. Yeah, the poor guy lives in Kansas. <laughs> right. When you wear your Packer stuff around, right. they're like, uh. San Fran all the way. Yeah, but we did beat Kansas City. Lily, Packer fan that lives in California. What's up? I love that. David Camilli. I hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> Diehards, man. Taylor. We got to talk a little bit about Taylor Jane. Swift and Travis. I'm Hill. going for the Niners because of my dad. Okay, that's understandable. Like I thought about it for our cousins. I really did, and I did like Joe Montana when he played. I love my cousins hate the 49ers. There, how's that? You don't, you don't hate. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I hate don't that hate anything. Team. You should never hate anything, really. I we? dislike the 49ers. Okay, dislike is different than hate. 
Okay, they're my least favorite team in the NFL out of 32 teams. They're the 49ers. She grew up watching football with him and wishes... Oh, he was a Niners fan, sorry. Yeah. Watching football with my dad is why I love watching today, except I started watching the Packers and never stopped. That's actually happened. I bet a lot of people from, write Jane? to me. Where is she from? Like, state. You don't have New to Mexico? Say. Jane, you're from New Mexico, you don't have right? To say what city. I think it's... Okay, what has Becky Rose got going on here? All the inactives for Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl matchup against the San Francisco 49ers. Mm -hmm. Justin Ross. Well, you guys can read it if you... Nothing major. Go down the thread. I don't know any of those players. <laughs> I'm telling you. Jess Gillespie. I'm going for Kansas City today. Me too. See, I've been all people... in for, for two weeks. I'm not backing out. Most people... And I did have a second thought. Sorry. Most people, I believe, would be for Kansas City that are Packer fans. That's what I wanted to see. Why do you feel that way? I know why I feel that way. Because they think like I think. I don't like to see a team we should have beat win it. Oh, I actually... That would even upset no, me more. No, if it was a more typical year, other than San Fran, usually I'd cheer for the team that beats the Packers because then I'd feel like, because I never thought we should have lost that game, I'll... Tell you ten different reasons why, and we would be in the Super Bowl. But so normally I cheer for the team, but I just am tired of the Forty Nine. I hope they don't win another Super. I rather see Kansas City and Mahomes get closer to Brady. I'm cheering for Kansas City. That's why. How about this one, Rod? I want Mahomes to push Brady's. You're actually making your decisions now, right yeah, before the I'm game. Trying to You're starting of, to feel. I, lo I want Mahomes to get his third. Then he's what? In the conversation, four away from from Brady. If he gets in the, the conversation four, of a dynasty, too. Four out of who five. doesn't want to see Brady's record beat? Come on. What was I just saying? Damn it! You you you, you want before to see? An, um, I don't know. Ah, I lost it. I'm going for Kansas City. Too. Oh, your theory on defense. They got all number ones in, in the in San Fran in their line. Their defense. Oh, this line. ain't gonna be no defense. Defense don't win nothing. So Mahomes is gonna you show want, that. Yeah, because the the, I, the 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 whole game is structured around offense. Can I can I read the scores? No, we're gonna of the read the fans. Twelve Super Bowls. We're gonna read the fans. Come Google on. Google it and go look at it and tell me how. I'm talking to the fans because they run out anyways. It's, yeah, they only stay on for so long. They're not doing but not but the only day I will. I will, but always going for our pack. Thanks, Jeff. Luis Gonzalez. What's up? <laughs> I like Luis. Thanks for the Luis. decals. He got them. I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Joey and Rock? Thanks for the decals. Right on. <clears throat> Runyon is gone due to his penalties. No, Runyon had a great year. Him and Ryan did an excellent job on the right guard. But, I, I mean, yeah, he had some penalties. But... Thanks, Becky, for giving us the Kansas City and 49er. Runyon and Dylan injury list and Savage and are all gone. Well, maybe Savage might hold on and Nixon because they all can get more money somewhere else, and the Packers don't want to pay. Probably my kids. Oh my super! Ah, one of my Super Bowl numbers come in. By the way, on one. How do you know? What do you mean? There's no, there's been no game yet. No, what my got for the game? Forty Niners oh. nine, Kansas City three. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Forty Niners nine. Kansas City three. That's good for the first quarter. Can I ask how much a square you paid? Probably five. Uh, bucks, ten Twenty-five to fifty. All right, Rock so spent a little, little money. Bit. That's a rare. What is this? A rarity I'm here. In like four or five. One wow. of them I got three. Big money, two, Rock. Big money. Four. I got good numbers. Good numbers. I better win some money. Watch her be a block. What's the Packers kicker again? Andrews Carlson. Yeah. Watch her be a, a miss extra point or something. Screw it. Well, I'd like that. to see him have a better second year. I hope he comes comes out of what happened to him this year. Because he took a lot of flack. We'll move on. Don't Slow, worry. Jesse Gillespie. Jordan Love. <laughs> Jordan think needs about a... I'm reading this one because ah. this is a joke. Jess, you're not serious. Jordan needs to just think about the whole team and get, like, a better deal for him and the Packers. Okay, what do you mean, like a 10-year deal? Spread it like like Jared Allen did? No, they don't do that. They take the money they're deserved. It's all, he's not 
doesn't care about the Packers. I totally disagree, and I agree with Jess Gillespie. You and I disagree. I know what he means on that, and I've been saying and thinking uh, that for is. a long time. What's the difference if a guy makes forty million or forty five? You know what people are gonna say? Would you take less money on your job? Yeah, did Everybody you, says that. Maybe right? one quarter. Okay, actually, you know who's the number one he's paid 20, quarterback in the five NFL? Years old. He's gonna Stop. get five. Who's the number one paid quarterback in the NFL? Won the Super Bowl? Patrick Mahomes. Don't tell me you can't win a Super Bowl because you give a quarterback fifty plus million dollars. That's bullshit. It's always been BS, and I hate that narrative. He, the dude deserves it. Give him the money. And Jessica Starina. Hi, boys. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> Don't let me. All right. All right, Rock. I'm back to reading. Go Niners. <laughs> Kimberly, what's up? Go Niners. I'll be damn. Get uh, Rock a Gatorade. <laughs> What's his name? Oh, of course, man. That's my guy. RT, man. RT. My guy. <laughs> Extended my. Right, Joey, my knowledge of football has definitely gone up listening to <laughs> yeah. you guys. Yeah, right. Jolene. That's Mountain Griffiths. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, Billy cool. Griffiths, man. Jason Toppy, good afternoon, Joey. He always tunes in, Jason. Oh, yeah. Came and seen us at uh, Sweets. Oh, yeah, definitely. He always, he always course, checks in. Yeah. I'm just here for the Super Bowl commercials. Me too. Anthony Gear, what's up, Anthony? Mountain, Zach who Williams. Do you like nice today, to Mountain? Be honest, who do you like? Wish the Pack were playing today. Me too. Rick Carnes, hey, isn't the Super Bowl today? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Rick? Who right, you got? We're talking Packers. Yep. <laughs> I used to be in. I used to be a Packer in a factory. Robert Robbins. I wonder if he worked in Green Bay. You know, where do people saying. get this? I think Bach wants to play with his friends in New York. Yeah, maybe he does. Catherine. What friends? Aaron, he bought Aaron. Uh, He's got uh, more friends in Green Bay than he does in New York. He's been with the Packers how many years? I don't buy into, like, what conspiracy there is. But, okay, I shouldn't say that. There's a chance he could be in New York. Sorry, Joe, he got bounced out. Who? <laughs> <laughs> David Kamala, he's into it, man. He likes he likes to get deep with you know, he's on the threads like all the time. I like him. He's always voicing his opinion. Of course. That's what we want. Always. Joni, what's up? I'm not sure what you wear. Chris Jorns. Jones. Personally, I think oh. Preston Smith and Darnell Savage are gone next year. I believe that as well. So, but Preston, I've had a second thought about. Darnell Savage, I think, is gone. Just so you know, Darnell Savage is not under contract. Right. He's a free agent. Preston Smith's still under contract. contract. Is he so there's one a more total year? difference in he the two. Right. They would That's have to true. cut Preston Smith or trade him like they were forced to do with Rodgers. Or Bakhtiari because he's got guaranteed money attached to his contract. Savage is a totally different story. He, we can just let him go and it doesn't cost us any dead cap money, right? Does you familiar, do people understand the difference when it comes to contracts? You don't just If they guys. don't rock, you're letting them know. But, I mean, that's interesting. Other people have said that. But Joe said Preston Smith's been playing great. He should stay. Hey. How do you get rid of the guy? He's he, Mr. Steady, he, never gets right. injured. He's always I there. I think he overachieved this year. So are you going to just cut a guy for money? Do you money? think he overachieved? No, I think he's that good. He's worth that kind of money. That's what I'm saying. Are you going to just cut him because he makes too much money to bring in some other free agents? What's it, wrong with Preston Smith? Why is it? Why does it... He's, doesn't suck, but he's it, it, questionable against the run. I don't know why that comes in my head. I don't know. I hate all 31 teams. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, I love your sweatshirt. Thanks, Lacey. I think the Chiefs will win, but I want the 49ers. That's a good why one, you Jessica. Want the 49ers, Jessica? Joey, I'm from Colorado. That's right. Okay, sorry about that, Jane. Grew up in Colorado and now back living in the city I grew up in. Right on. Cool. Vicky, hello. Nice to see you. Kansas City. Pack will need a great safety if Halflin switches. Oh, yeah, yeah. Halflin switches. Halfley. Okay, what did we switches do? to a fourth. Three. Okay, what did ever Here, here. Can I answer this, Dave? You you were one of the guys that... That's right. Rick Carnes is a Chiefs fan. 
I got to answer this to Dave because he's one of those guys that said I was crazy when <laughs> when we were going to draft two tight ends and two wide receivers. How, do you, how, how would you remember I, something because like I, that? I know the guy. Okay, so everybody wants to get free agent wide receivers. Remember, everybody was talking about who's the free agent we're going to get. Who do these guys? We can get this guy, that guy. Good, don't do that. What did he do? He drafted Watson. He drafted Dobbs. He drafted Musgrave. He drafted Kraft. He drafted... Reed and he drafted Wicks. What free agent wide receiver did he pick up that's a big name, big money that everybody said he was gonna? He's gonna do the same thing with safeties and he's gonna draft like two safeties, a DB. Like in the first five rounds, you're gonna. Two safeties? Oh. He's going to do it, just like he did weapons. He brought in no, like that eight one. weapons in two years and 12 months. But I get it. You want free agents. I love free agents, too, for the right price. Jeremy, hey, Joey and Rocky, what's up, Jeremy? Rooting for the Chiefs. The 49ers have moved up to number two on my dislike <laughs> list behind Dallas. See, Jeremy I don't Shane. dislike Dallas anymore. What? Really? Because we kicked their ass all the time. I did years ago. Yeah, I, I lost that. Sam Fran took over for Dallas. But I get why you don't like Dallas. When Emmett Smith, and they kept us out of the, they kept beating us till we Hi, finally Hi, Alan, how are you? I'm oh, going you for the best one. Oh. Hi, Alan, how are you? <laughs> oh, I did my fault. Rock. Do you got can any I more do, water? Can I, can I just? Are you out? That's it. Huh? This is yours. You right sure? there. Positive. All right. All right, Alan Crow. I'm going for the Packers first and foremost, but today I'm going for the 49ers. So we actually why? Have, we have a mix of fans. How come people don't say why they're going for the I want to know why, 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 why. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, from now on, if you give us whoever if you tell us who you're going for, you gotta tell us why. If you tell us who you're going for, Joel will send you a patch. No, David, is, is it is it a draft day yet? Yeah, see, he's like he's a, a Stella. Yeah, he get wants to know when show. are the Packers going to print some in good, I trust shirt. See, that's another thing. People were down on oh, Gudikins for years, and now me. now they're not. Never was. But we're not talking about you right now. We're talking about the rest of the fan base. A lot of fans were, but the only thing I'm down on. Quiet about that. The only thing I've ever beat, and I'll say it fifty times if I said it a thousand times already. I'm pissed he didn't draft Debo or AJ Brown and took Savage, and I'm pissed. He disappointed. Took, and I did not agree with him not winning it. We would have won another Super Bowl. I love Jordan Love. Nothing against Jordan Love. But if we would have took Tay Higgins, we would have won a Super Bowl. So I would rather have another Man. Super Bowl than Jordan Love. I know that sounds crazy. Now wow. it's easy to say that. But if we would Would you rather have another Super Bowl under our belt in the last two years? Because it was two years ago. Yeah. Or would you rather have Jordan Love? That's a good question we're going to ask for the rest of the yeah. fans on the thread. Not nah, give us your answer. Yeah, I would, ra I would rather have another Super Bowl. If Jordan Love wins another Super Bowl... Then at that time, I'll say it was a good move. But passing on on Tay Higgins was huge for me when we already had MVS, who's in the Super Bowl again. Going for his second Debo race. Debo Samuels in the Super Bowl again. Higgins was in the Super Bowl. Hmm. I'm just saying, Adams, MVS, and Lazard, and Debo or, 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 or A.J. Brown, that's the only mistakes I ever seen Goot make. Uh oh, Matt, Ma Matt Moskoff. What's up, Matthew? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining the thread, Viking fan. <laughs> there you go. But he's cool. He's a cool a Viking fan. Wager like Joey. Wait, see? wait, wait. Niners are winning. Yeah. Everyone loves KC. That's he's a wager. Like I can't call Joey a gambler, even though he's a gambler. <laughs> Yeah, you had to go so, so there. Matt's, had to Matt's going with the angle of someone who's putting money on the game. Everybody, My likes, money is on KC. Everybody loves Plus KC. Plus one and a half. So he's going with the theory that when the whole country says KC, that means the Niners are going to win. Has anybody ever charted that? It's common. So the other team usually wins a lot of when the, that when the, that when the, the, way the, money the moves. popular opinion yeah, of the game, of not the money, but the popular, the, the, the money goes with the spread. I'm talking money line. No spread. Todd Dellenbach, hey, Joey and Rocky, go 49ers. What's up? Thanks for the patches, guys. You bet, Jeff Young. Hope you enjoy them. Alicia Seuss, thanks for to Taylor Swift. I'll be cheering for the 49ers. <laughs> Alicia, 
David Lynn Joey. I like Taylor Swift and Hope Travis Rock took Kelsey. his blood pressure meds. 49ers by three. Really? Wow. Nice deal. Yeah, right. Well, Rock's a little bit more calm because it's not a Packer game. You are more calm when it's when it's I'm just Packer. bummed. I'm You're bummed. still a little bummed I'm from so it. I'm so bummed. I've been bummed. We lost the Rock season. felt with the, 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 the Packers the caught lightning in a bottle and I was sitting in the, watching a the game with Joey and Stella and watch the Packers. He's, Couldn't score a point the last four possessions to seal the deal. That's driving you nuts. And then listen, nuts. everybody blame the defense. That's driving you nuts. All we needed was one more touchdown. Wendy Rothel, hello. Yeah. And I knew we'd have beat Detroit. Do we keep our running back duel, That's Matthew a Morris? Great question. I personally love Thunder and Lightning package. Another big guy, quick guy. I, um... Just talking past, we got rid of Williams, picked up, right, picked up Dylan. We got rid of Lindsley, picked up Myers. You know, we always, we got rid of Balaga, draft. You get what I'm saying? So my guess is we're going to let Dylan go. I think that's almost and, like happening. And a, and a draft a running back. But keep Jones, right? He's a free agent, Dylan. Dylan's right? another guy. They're not cutting like him. Like Savage. Like Savage. And by the way, Owen. He would have gotten a deal by now if they were going to keep Amen. him. Amen. Amen. First, we got to sign Love. They got to do the math. But none of that starts till, come on, do you know the date? I missed the first part. None of that starts. When can they start negotiating with free agents? Uh, Come on. Something with March. March 15th. 15th. Yeah. Because there was a thing about... I it's a remember. dead period now after the Super Bowl. This is when Rodgers went into the yeah. darkness. Yeah. You got like a two to three week thing where... That, um, uh, February. What's the date today? I remember it's Jason 11th. Wildey explaining after the Super Bowl how important it was to do the deal with Rodgers in that certain amount of time because the Packers saved a ton of money or something. You Does can, that make sense? I or no? believe you. Someone correct me on this. Someone that knows better than I do. I think you can sign your own guys in that period, but you can't. There's no... Right. There's no movement right now till March 15th. So these questions about free agents, nobody knows. Joe's going to have a show on March 15th or right right before or right after about that. Because that's okay. when, then, then that's before the draft, right? So you kind of pay attention to who they're going to try to sign before the draft. <clears throat> they already know how much money they're going to give Love. We just don't know. Hopefully we keep Preston, Jeff Young. Oh, is that where we're at? Yeah, trying to catch up. But the, no, you know, just talk. Can't cheer for the Niners. They always beat the pack. Thank you, Trisha. Tom Powers. Rocky is absolutely right about the draft, draft, and develop. Yeah, I, I mean, at least based on what Goot's history is. Jeff Young, I'm with you. 27-17. Rocky likes 31-20 kind of a game. Because we hate Mahomes. I never said that. And we are tired of him. Lorena. Lorena. She must be agreeing. Oh, she does not like Mahomes. She doesn't like Mahomes. What's the matter with him? <laughs> Talks like Hermit the Frog. Is that what you don't like about him? Dave Lynn. Henry to Green Bay. Dave Schaffner. Oh, you know, um, is is Derek Henry going to play for, like, cheap? Marty Morelli. He might. De Henry might. Oh, Henry. Yeah, Henry might want a ring. Now, if Henry... Wants to come in and play for the Packers cheap to cheap get a ring. Cheap is the key word because every ring. Packer fan, not every, I'm but all for it. 90% of Packer fans have seen the youth now under you. Everybody's all youth. Go yeah, youth, go young, go young, youth go young. for three years on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Draft. Take wide receivers. We need better wide receivers. No, we got hey, Lazar. How's everybody doing today, We got man? Cobb. We don't need... Last game of the year. We Rocky just said two. we're doing a show in Mar in March, but this might it might be a while before we do a show again. Okay, Alan Crow is going for Brock. You guys want to keep doing shows? Joe, don't doing? miss comments. They're all yeah, I'm always trying to catch up. Why? I'm going for the Niners because of Brock Purdy. I do like Brock Purdy. He's a nice kid. But I dislike the 49ers right. more than I like Brock Purdy, unfortunately. Terry Lewis, living in living in Colorado. Watch McCaffrey through high school. Wow. Then followed co college and pro. That so San Francisco is a good reason. That's a great reason. personal reason. Yes, like we like Nick Van Exel and 
right. Jarvis Brown and stuff like that. Right? right, right. Super Bowl, exactly. Spot on, Rocky. Oh, you he would have taken a Super Bowl over Love. Yeah, of course. Who wouldn't? As the Rams. Bill, well, love Bill Would Dutton. you rather have Bill Dess? Love all day. So hold on, you hold got on. 50, 50. Wait, wait, let's wait, just keep wait. going. No, wait. Are you Detroit? Why? I don't want to wait. Do you want? Well, I'm just asking. If you're the Rams, would you rather still had Goff, or would you have the Super Bowl with with Stafford? That's a good one. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. That is pretty good. Took me a second, but it didn't take me two. Okay, young, like love is going to bring us three Super Bowls. Then, of course, it's a great move. I would love that. All right. Test that back. Jay Love is going to bring us three Super Bowls. That's some answer. <laughs> hey, yeah, okay. he's always on the thread. He's in the group. Jay Love is going to bring us three Super Bowls. He might. Okay, we'll see. He might. I mean, I'd be the happy. I will, eat. I will say then, yes. I would rather have three Super Bowls over one with Rodgers. Terry Rothen Bueller. Terry, we designed and make these. We'll have them on uh, uh, on demand soon. As soon as the season's over, we're going to take care of all the merchandise, show you all the different images we got. We got tons of stuff. So give us a little time on that. We'll get back to you, Terry. Okay? Becky, if you could take Terry's name and just keep it, that'd be great. Becky's answering the comments I before you I go with those. Jordan Love because I think we can win more than one Super Bowl with him. Okay. He's a back-to-back -back win kind of guy. Jane so let me ask you this. All Your you assistant coach. I like Jane. So let me <laughs> ask you this. All you Packer fans that are pissed at Aaron Rodgers uh, and here Brett he goes. Clark because they only each won one Super Bowl, are, what, what's going to happen if we... If we don't win a Super Bowl with Jordan Love, then what? You get what I'm saying? That's why we had the Did chance. You say if if we don't win a Super Bowl with Love, huge if. So so then are you going to appreciate? Are you going to appreciate Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers one Super Bowl a little bit more if Jordan Love don't win us one in ten years? Going back in the years? day, Rocky always goes back. I in read the a day. lot on DHPF. Oh yeah, it's about right now, right? They didn't win. They only won one don't Super Bowl. Don't even talk Bowl. like that. I'm like they won one Super Bowl is a lot. Okay. Rock, did you see him on any of his interviews in Las Vegas? Who? He looks confident. Who? Jordan. I know. I love Jordan Love. I'm saying. I'm talking hypotheticals here. If he with the receiving core he's got, okay. good defense, okay. another draft. Sam like Fran had great drafts. Great drafts. They still haven't won a Super Bowl. We'll see. That's part of the reason why I don't want Sam Fran to win because of Lynch. He's such a good GM. Rock, are you sure we will keep Jones? I'm kind of scared about that. Oh yeah, he's. Uh, Good already said that him that and they're going to work. Him and Alexander are back. Yeah. That's actually good to know. And I've never and, really heard him. I've never really heard that. And Jones might take a little cut, but I don't think so. Greg says he needs a few more patches. You call it Joey on the coin toss. You pick wrong and you send patches. <laughs> right, Rocky says. Them. Will Mahomes make through the whole game? Now. He you always know, does. No matter how much he gets beat up, he's kind of like Brett Favre to me, Mahomes. That's what he reminds me of. Yeah. <clears throat> he's a tough son of a bitch. Remember he hurt his ankle last year? Still won it? This is funny. Alan Crow, I'm taking odds on how many White Claws Rocky drinks during the Super Bowl. Over, under, three. It's going to be under. Water. I got it's gonna a be under. He's on a doctor's thing. <laughs> you lost. Sorry. I got to let you know that information. Thanks, all Alan. The time. Hey, Dennis, how are you? I think they resign, resign, resign Dylan at a cheaper price and still draft another running back. Now, that I don't hear very Yeah, often. but you got Wilson on, on a rookie contract, so. That's a good one. I mean, I'm listen, you, if you can get, but no. I think Dylan can get more money somewhere else. It's like, if people act like he's not wanted somewhere else. So someone that, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Somebody might want to pay him more money because they're in a better cap situation and have him as their second. Did you hear back. the Eagles were interested in him? Yeah, I could see the Eagles. That's a perfect team, right. 
He would be solid on the Eagles with that offensive line. They so, got a good offensive line. So the line. Packers aren't going to... Well, we got a good offensive line, So to too. answer your question, the Packers are not going to match someone like the Eagles that wants to pay a little more money to Dylan. Then uh, you're saying like a, every, everybody talks like these team-friendly deals. Players, they only got one shot at it. He's done. Dylan's probably got two more years left in the NFL. Why would he come to the Packers and leave a million or two sitting on the table? Who does that stuff? I don't know, but whatever. Brock, uh, Jordan wasn't with his girlfriend. We're caught up, by the way. Jordan Love? He wasn't with his girlfriend in Vegas. He's watching. He wasn't. He's not watching the game in Vegas. He got off the plane. Got did all this stuff. Yeah, with Old Spice and she's got her own and, life, she's, and he got right back on a plane and went his back. Ass in a heartbeat. No way, they're getting married. She's all that fine as hell. Yeah, well, they're gonna get married. She don't need him. What are you talking about right now? Well, you like act like on, he's out. Off on like you a, said he's like like they're together solo. a lot. You said he's like single this weekend at the Super Bowl. You no, you missed my whole point. Oh, okay. He got off the plane, did what he had to do. They asked if he was watching the game and. Vegas, where he was, where the game is, and he said, no, I'm going back home. Oh, good, to be with his girlfriend. Yeah, anybody. they're tight. She's cool, I like her. Yeah, they are. she is great. Okay, Jeff Young, come on, guys, it takes a team to win a Super Bowl, not just one player. Oh, he's talking about, uh, oh, we talk okay, so much wait about a minute. Love. No, no, he's talking. Oh, are you talking about love or were you talking about because we we could have won a Super Bowl with A.J. Brown or Debo over Savage? And that's what I mean. It t no, what? Okay, so just because he mentioned that, I'm, I got to bring the Bears into this. Cause Ooh, the Bears. Let's talk about teams around the North. Just, that's fine. Nah, the Bears. Can we can I talk about the Bears, not the teams around the North? I know you want oh, me to we're get off of talk about that. them all. So the Bears are going to keep Justin Fields. They're going to trade the pick to Washington. I've been really studying this. This is wait, my wait, wait, thoughts. Wait. The Bears are going to keep Justin Fields. Yes, they're going to so, trade the number one pick to Washington. Just remember, okay, if ahead. you're if they don't keep him, everything you're about to say is wrong. Well, I'm, this is what I think is going to happen. I don't <laughs> have inside information. I love having this these is, recordings. I go back and rock. Hey, rock. Remember you said this? I because I tore up my Achilles and I had surgery. I've been doing. I can't walk. So basically, I've been just really doing a lot of NFL in the draft and what the Packers are going to do. And oh, that's good. I'm most interested in what the North's going to do. So when you look at what the Packers did with all the young weapons for Jordan Love, Justin Fields will be in his third year like Jordan was this year. I'm sorry, his fourth year. They are going to keep him. They're going to draft Marvin Harrison. They're going to get Another wide receiver with the ninth pick, probably the kid neighbors from UCLA or uh, uh, from LSU or the kid from Washington. So you think they're looking at what the Packers did and they're going to try to duplicate Just them. the Bears are going to be good. Or they're going to take Brock Bowers as their tight end because then they'll have two tight ends like the Packers, a kid that's probably better than Laporta. You are gonna, And then they still got... Better than Laporta? They're going to get two second-round picks. They're going to get Washington's second-round pick and the Bears' second-round pick, so they'll have the 33rd and the 34th pick in the draft. You heard it right here. The Bears overnight after this draft, if they keep Justin Fields, will be in contention for the North next year by, the, by what they added to their offense. And they could get a player like they did with Moore. DJ Moore, yeah. They could get like an offense. I'm a little worried about the, the Bears. The Bears scare me more than Detroit at but this point. Again, now coaching comes into play, too. With that. Didn't they get rid of Getsy or something? Yeah. Where did he go? He went out to the Raiders? I forget who they hired for their offensive coordinator. You know, yeah. Changed their and the Bears got, now the Bears, they got money for free agents. <clears throat> There's a team that could sign some more people. Like Chase with San Fran. I, I mean, so the Packers really, really need to do great with those first five, six picks in the draft and stay ahead of the Bears and at least equal with Detroit. I'm a draft guy, but I know we got time for that. Uh, I'm yeah. at a Super Bowl party. Hold on, Rock. Brian Den. I'm at a Super Bowl party in my Packer gear. Out in Vegas? Are you in Vegas? 
How many quarterbacks have played in the NFL? For any QB to win a Super Bowl is an amazing accomplishment. Bingo. And to win two is even puts you in a Terry whole nother Terry Rothenbuehler. Like... Eli uh, Eli Manning deserves to be in the deserves to be in the Hall of Fame with two Super Bowl wins. But as but people say, it was the defense that won him those Super. I don't know. He had some great. He played good too. I mean, whatever. Go Chiefs, Kathy Rose Borst. I can't believe you passed up comments when I didn't pass up anything. Oh, okay. A.J. Dillon is linked to the Ravens. That's another great team for him. See, did you see Kansas City's running game against Baltimore was better, and that was part of the reason why they won the seventh-round draft pick. What's his name, your boy? The running Pacheco. Game? Pacheco. The Ravens didn't have that good of a running game. Lamar Jackson. So, yes, Dillon is perfect for the Ravens, and they will pay him to play. For all you props people out there, I think the uh, Pacheco's at Pacheco. That's how you say it, Pacheco. Yeah. I want to say he's at like 66 yards. I thought that was kind of low. <clears throat> Rushing. You know, the over-under. Rock, that's where you would be great. Where? Handicapping these players. See, now the people come back because we're talking. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> We're Jane, talking to the fans. Uh, Jane Delasio, she disagrees with me again. If the Bears do anything, they may be ahead of the Lions and the Vikings, but they always will be behind the pack. Okay. Alan Crow, the Packers got five draft picks in the first 91 picks. He's right. We, pit, we pit. You love that. Oh, God, yeah. I you love the Douglas trade. Whitakins kind of hinted about moving up, too. See, a lot of people say he he goes out. He goes. He likes no, he more likes picks. He likes to move down, not up. Yeah, down for down. more picks. That's right. how we got Reed and Kraft because we traded with Detroit. Let them move up and take the Jets pick, and then we got two picks. We got an extra third. So I could see it being six picks in the first ninety-one. That that's me. You would do that, Stella, and I love that. <laughs> Who are we gonna take twenty-fifth? That's a great question. Deshaun Cooper oh, you from were, Iowa. Oh, you guys are stuck on one guy. See, that's you a problem with Iowa. you. You, you guys What's going to change? I got a buddy just like you, Danny. He's the same way. He's stuck on one offensive tackle. And what if that guy's gone by that time? Or what if he's... That, the dude, I looked him up. He's not even projected to go in the first round. Really? There's some people that said that he, he's probably not going to be available to us at 25. <laughs> oh, well, if that's the case and he's there... But he's a DB. He's a cornerback. A he's not, is he a safety? I thought he was a safety. I got to look him up more. I'm going 49. Oh, sorry. I got it. Rod, Belch. I'm going 49ers because we are better than KC, but struggle with the 49ers. We do. So I would rather see a team that beat us win than a team that lost You're to a us. true fan. I don't. I don't agree with Rod on that. I do. Usually, that's that's how I fine. Do. We have different. Uh, I actually like when we, you and I disagree, and you agree with some of the people, and I agree with some of the people. But what he's saying, I just something about watching. I care more about beating San Fran. I don't care as much about beating Kansas City. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's why I'd rather see Kansas City win tonight. Okay, so then you're thinking like me today. You hate Can you hate San Fran. You don't hate them, but you dislike San Fran because they beat us. I was sat here pacing back and forth because I knew we were losing that game when we should have won, and now I got to cheer yeah, for them to win. Move the ball zero points last four possessions. I can't do it. I'm going to say it a I thousand it. times to get it in everybody's head. That's yeah. how you win football games: is the last three, four possessions you got to score. That's what's going to win today, either an interception or, yeah, you can have those mistakes early in the game and it don't cost you, like like Savage dropped the ball. That was a pick six. <laughs> Look at, okay, here's a classic example. Everybody blamed the game on Savage. Detroit went up how much at half? 24 to 7? Yeah, they were smoking them and San Fran came back. It's the second half that determines these big games. I'm laughing at <laughs> the adjustments, so, coach. Funny this definitely should be off. us. Nietzsche? 
<laughs> Jose. Wow, what a cool name. Randy Pansky, the Hold helmet on. catch. The helmet catch. When I they beat, it. When they beat the Patriots were undefeated. That was before Joe was in the DHBF and all that shit. The helmet catch. Eli Manning, the helmet catch. <clears throat> Remember when he... I do, it's starting to come to me now. That's it's coming the, back to me a little bit. Is that the team that beat Brett Favre? Or is that... Yeah, that's the team that beat Brett Favre. It was supposed to be Brett Favre and, and the undefeated Patriots in the Super Bowl. Greg Marnacha. What are the Vegas odds that Rocky says he's a coach? Not doing the you coach You haven't thing said today. it tonight. Not doing the coach thing This today. is the first show yeah. we've done where you said the coach in me. Yeah, You didn't say it. it. Wow. Wow. The coach. This I'm, is a first, ladies and gentlemen. Because we're not playing today. <laughs> I'm like the if rest we of playing, you, just a did. fan. I'm just a dumb fan watching the game. I'm not the smart coach. Oh, <laughs> That's too funny, Greg. I'm the I'm the parent that yells when he doesn't know why he's yelling. Have at a the great coach. off season to you too, Greg. Hi, uh, Greg. Joe Ackerman, Packers out out draft the Bears every year. What do you think of that, Rob? Exactly, they do. Thank they, God, yeah. and that's why we're better. But they got a new GM now. That's been you. If you can't tell the difference in the improvement of the team since this GM took over, pace was going down. This guy's trending upward, and Justin Fields has been playing better. Anybody that denies that's a liar. You're just a hater. I don't mean a hater like hate, but you just dislike the Bears and you don't want to be realistic. I'm realistic, just like I was with the Lions. Joe and Stella couldn't believe the Lions beat us two years ago, the last game of the year. They had us going to the Super Bowl, everything. And I'm like, the Lions are 8-2. 2016. The Lions were a good football team Rogers when they beat us. kind of choked at the end of that game. Yeah. He didn't play real well in the last No, he series. didn't. He doesn't, didn't stop playing good he in the He kind of looked like we did against San Fran. That's what I like about Jordan Love. He can play football in cold weather. Jordan can. I love that about him. Yeah, Rodgers aged. Rodgers was at the twilight of his career. It was a good time to move on from him. But that's got nothing to do with why they didn't get Debo or A.J. Brown and Higgins for him to win one more Super Bowl. He was still good enough. He's not good enough to win a Super Bowl anymore. No, anymore. I think he's going to retire. Uh... But at that time, he was. When we lost to Brady, just think if we had Debo or A.J. Brown on that team. Come on. Where are we at? Number 25, Cooper DeJean. Rock, we're going to wrap this up in a minute. What's this Brian Dame? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something you said. I'll never cheer for San Francisco, Wendy Rothel. What's up, Wendy? Nice to see you. Wendy's another one that's always on the thread with us. My nephew is oh. a 49er fan, but I want Mahomes to win. Angela Hayden. Me too. Bridget Gerhardt. I, want I miss Rocky too. and Joey. Go, Pat, go. What do you think, Rock? Should we go eat a beef it? sandwich? Is the beef here? You want to keep oh, talking? We got, I don't know. What do we Should have? What do, to, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about the game tonight? Nah, people are I done, think right? Mahomes. I think Mahomes lights it up. I think Purdy chokes because of his youth. I don't know. That's the wrong you. word. That's the wrong word. I don't tr I trust. I trust Andy Reid over Shanahan. No I, way. I trust. I trust. Why? He's great in the fourth quarter. Coaching. I, I'm going to tell you what I really think is No happen. way. I think the San Francisco 49ers are going to win, beat them just like they beat the Lions, like 34-31. Wow. You got a high-scoring game. Well, all the games I'm 24, have been high -scoring. 21, one 27, game that 24. hasn't been high-scoring, and that's Mahomes against Baltimore, and, and it should have been high-scoring. I could see it like a 14-13 halftime score. Yeah, something like that. And the only thing but I you know what we've been predicting it. We've been wrong. The only thing I don't know. We've been pretty close all year. What are you talking about? The only thing that I, it's like, as a coach, you don't always play good right away in a Super Bowl, especially two weeks off. So that could affect the score a little bit. Are these teams going to come out? Who's going to have the advantage tonight? They both got good defenses. Oh, by the way, I want you to watch. Rock, wait, they did mention what you were talking about. Is that Who's they? The first quarter is, you got to see what happens with these teams because they've been, you know, sitting in front of microphones for a week yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah, doing all, all these interviews. Exactly. And, and, and 
there's some problems with Mahomes' father too. Oh, there is. Yeah, he got is that in the one that got? He got in trouble. Yeah, but uh, what's it, what's his name? What's her he name? Taylor Swift is driving him to the game. <laughs> is is she? <laughs> she sent him a limo. By the way, is that true? Taylor Swift sold one of her planes because the green movement got all over her. She caved. You know, she's got two private planes. Does anybody know about I that? Don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I like Taylor Swift. Joe, enjoy the game yourself. Maybe a halftime check-in? I don't know. It's up to Rocky, nah, Jane. Probably not. Well, we'll see. I like San Fran. My mom's on the thread. She's going with San Francisco because of all of our cousins. Terry Roth and Bueller, I agree, Joey. Aaron doesn't have an OL or defense in New York. He should retire. He really should. God hmm. forbid something was to happen to him again. I think they'll go after O-line, but... That would be a good place for Or Mark Justin Murray. Fields, like we talked about. You said that he, if the Bears are really going to want to get rid of him, you think they're going to keep him, and they're going to go after he, uh, uh, Harrison. Yeah, that's if they trade Justin Fields. I don't know. Justin Fields could end up in Dude, like Atlanta. Every Bear fan wants Harrison. Every Bear fan yes, talks. That's what I do. If they I want the that kid and DJ Moore. On each side. What are you looking at? Checking your hat out? Yeah, I like it. Low. You guys, people, <laughs> a lot of people wear their hats like this. Wait a minute. I saw something I like. Uh, well, oh, uh, what did mom say? Ma, of course, mom likes San Francisco because yeah. our cousins. Greg, 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 will the best defense win today? How about we turn that around and say... Does the best offense beat the best defense? Because the best offense beat well, the best defense. Well, that's what we're going to see. We're gonna, we're gonna, that, an that question's going to be answered. I like that. But they both got good offenses. You saw what San Fran did last week or two weeks ago against Detroit. Don't tell me they don't have a great offense. They got the best running back. They got Debo. They got Ayuk. They got the other dude that killed us, Chandler, whatever, number 84. They got Kittle. San Fran's got a great offense. They got a good offensive line. They got Purdy, who's solid, and they got a good defense. Laurel says, thanks for the great season, guys. I have enjoyed the DHPF Live broadcast. Hard watching, knowing we beat Kansas City. And we I have thought about that, too. San Fran for we beat three Kansas quarters. City, who wasn't playing great at that time. There was a lot Perfect of problems. Perfect time. Oh, yeah, we yeah. did play them at we the right time. We played them at the right time, and we played San Fran at the right time after we blew out Dallas. Every We had everything going for us. All right, you guys. But, no, I want to finish up ahead, with saying this. These are the two best football teams in the NFL. It wasn't Baltimore and San Fran. It was KC and San Fran. So this is one year... That I will enjoy the Super Bowl probably for that reason. The two best teams are in it, yep. other than the Packers. That's right. Thanks, Terry Rothenbuehler. Totally love this show. God bless Joe, you, Joey, and Coach Rocky. <laughs> I always tune in. Best pre and post game for the Packers. Thank you so much for that. Greg, I asked you that on purpose. Offensive coach, like how I, like how I fire you up. Hope for a good game. All right, you guys, rock. Let's go get let's go get a sandwich. We're not sure if we're going to be tuning in or not at halftime or after the game. Uh, might be a while before you see us again. Not sure, but thanks for tuning in to the Packer Paisans. I'm Joey T. Rocky, we're tuning out. See ya. <laughs> go Chiefs, and more importantly, go Pack. Love you all. Peace. Oh, here's the green hat. That's what I wanted. I'm going upstairs. See if my kids.